Hello everyone, I am live to show you Lou Fellingham's prayer journal because mine has just arrived. Um, so we are doing a prayer challenge this summer and a few people have asked to see inside the prayer journal that we're using. Lots of people are using notebooks, so you're more than welcome to join us in the challenge um, without buying the journal. Um, but lots of people obviously wanted to see what it looked like as well. So I thought I'd do a live and give you a flip through of it. And um, this is the first live that I've done with our new branding as well so you can see in the top corner there we've got our new cheerfully given logo and I'm going to be showing more about that whole process and our new website over the next um, couple of days as well so stay tuned for that um, but my prayer journal has just arrived from Lou so I thought I would show you um, I do not have very well manicured fingernails or anything. So uh, this is not the most um, glamorous of flip throughs, but uh, you'll have to bear with me because it's been a year of pandemic and I'm not ready to go back into the nail salon yet. Um, so this has just arrived, the Bring It All to Jesus prayer journal. Look how chunky it is. It is so much more substantial than I thought it was gonna be from the pictures. Um, so it's got this really great perfect bound spine and you can see that it's got really it's really chunky loads of pages and it's like a proper book so I'm looking forward to filling this in and then having it on my bookshelf because it is quite a good size um so it's slightly wider than a normal book as well which means um that obviously there's more space uh, inside the pages to write um so the prayer journal there at the front bring it all to Jesus and if we um go to the front page, um, Lou has written a little note about why she's created the prayer journal and um, given the sort of breakdown of the structure as well as the verse in Philippians as well. And then there are 60 pages um, that basically give you a layout, a double spread layout like this so that you can um, record your prayers throughout the day. And the idea of our prayer challenge is that we want to spend time with Jesus and build that habit up. And um, this just so happens to be a, a nice 60 day um, section which takes us over the summer and um, so we are just using this as the basis for the challenge but obviously if you want to join you can use the verses from Philippians 4 and um, do your own layouts in your own notebook as well um, but basically if I I just want to make sure you can see this okay so at the top bit we've got space for the date and you can see there's a worship section and um, so as we're thinking through um, uh, pr our prayers we always want to be lifting our hearts and minds um, in worship to the living God and um, then after that we've got space to record our worries um, do not be anxious about anything and um, lots of us are dealing with anxiety and worry and fear at the moment so um, there's a space for us to present those um, to the living God as well and then um, thanks because we always want to have hearts of gratitude for all that we uh, have all that we are in Jesus and all of the blessings that are poured out on us every single day and then we have a section on the other side for requests and then um, there's a little section at the bottom for answers as well so that we can go back and record answers or make a note of any answers that have happened during the course of the day as well. So um, there are 60 pages that all are the same sort of layout so let me just see if I can do this. I'm not, I was not designed for QVC <laughs> um, but you can see that all of the pages have the same spread and so there are 60 different pages and um, then at the end of that we have a notebook full of prayers and um, Hopefully we've built habits that allow us to keep our hearts and minds fixed on Jesus, to present our petitions to the living God, to rejoice in every circumstance and to give thanks and to praise and to present our worries, our anxieties, all of those things to the Lord. So we're really just doing this as a community to connect, to uh, keep each other accountable. And we've got um, the prayer journal and then every um, week we've got an email that just sort of summarizes what's been happening that week if people have seen answers to prayer we've got a pop-up Facebook group that will only be um, open for the 60 days so it's not another Facebook group for you to engage in it's just a 60 day one where we will be going and um, we'll be posting a weekly thread to say what prayers have you seen answered things like that and we've also got a prayer session every two weeks that is live with Josephine who did our prayer sessions 
uh, as part of the Creative Christianity Summit and also does our prayer sessions for the Tempe Collective. And Joe and I will be going live for a live prayer session twice a month, so four times in total across the 60 days, um, where we'll be praying for you, praying for one another, and um, just having some time to really uh, come before the living God together in that space as well. So that's just a little bit of a breakdown of what's happening with the prayer challenge. If you've seen that pop up on your newsfeed or anything, you um, can find out more information about it um, through the link and register. It's totally free to join um, and you will be able to get all of those, uh, you know, uh, weekly prompts just as reminders. Um, this is not one of those things where you have to do it every single day or you're kicked out. Um, you know, we want to pray every day because we want to spend time with Jesus, but we also know that occasionally things happen and maybe you miss a day and there is space and grace for that. So please don't feel like, oh, you know I don't know if I'll be able to stick to this I don't know if I'll be able to stick to this either <laughs> so we're coming into this wanting to keep each other accountable wanting to you know be intentional about praying this summer but it's not going to be a space where you're beaten over the head if you don't get it done so it's really just to say okay every day I want to try and spend this time with the living God so um if you're nervous about signing up because you're not sure if you'll be able to complete it every single day we understand. Don't worry, and um, do sign up anyway because it, you, you know, you, you, you'll maybe really enjoy it and find it to be an encouragement. So that's a little tour of the Bring It All to Jesus prayer journal. Even if you don't take part of the challenge, honestly, it is lush. I think it's available in green as well. I can't remember, but I picked pink because I like pink. Um, but it's also like more of a mauvey red pink rather than a bright bright pink. So it is, um, you know. It's not too girly. Lots of people think the color pink is girly. I'm of the opinion that it is a color <laughs> and I love it regardless, but um, it is more of like a mosey dusk pink rather than a bright fluorescent or baby pink. So that's a little bit of an intro to the journal. If you've got any questions about it or any questions at all about the prayer challenge, let me know in the comments below. More than happy to answer them. Um, I am about to pop off to a meeting now. So if you comment below, I'll check it out when I get back from a meeting and um, hopefully see you inside the prayer challenge as we start that on July the 1st next week so hope you're having a really good Thursday I've spent the whole day thinking that it was uh Wednesday uh and Andrew disappointed me and was like no it's Thursday I was like I've lost a whole day this week <laughs> so there we go um but thank you so much uh for joining me for this live if you're watching the replay let me know if you've got any questions and um, lovely to see you in in an impromptu format uh today and um, I literally had just said in the summit Facebook group that I was going to do a page tour when it arrived and then I went to the door and it had arrived so I thought I'll go on live and just do it now so that you can also check it out uh so hope you're having a great Thursday Day. let me know if you've got any comments hope to see you inside the prayer challenge next week and otherwise I will see you again 